Good day sa lahat ng ating viewers mo, especially sa mga senior high school students taking General Biology 1 for this semester. Welcome po sa ating panibagong lesson na tatalahayin for this session. Hello, kumusta sa ating mga STEM students dyan? I hope na makatulong tong video na to sa inyong lesson. So for this session, we will going to discuss lesson 3 which is the cell cycle, specifically the mitosis. So, pakilala ko mo yung sarili ko. I'm Sir Kiko, your lecturer for this lesson. You may type your questions or clarifications in the chat box or in the comment section after the discussion. For the soft copy of the presentation, just message me in my Facebook account. For this lesson, we will going to discuss the four objectives. The first one, characterize the phase of the cell cycle and their control points. The second objective, Describe the stages of mitosis. Third, explain the significance or applications of mitosis. And last one, we will going to identify disorders and diseases that result from the malfunction of the cell during the cell cycle. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let's have first our first activity. Activity number one, so for the direction. So, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. I will give you one minute to do this activity. Okay, let's check your work. So, for the statement number one, cytokinesis is also referred to as the late telophase. The correct answer for number one is true. For statement number two, during anaphase, the chromatin materials start to condense, forming discrete chromosomes. The correct answer for number two is false. For statement number 3, the cell cycle has two parts, interphase and cell division. The correct answer is true. For statement number 4, during telophase, the chromosomes have reached the opposite poles of the cell. The correct answer is true. And then for the last statement, during G1, the cell decreases in size. The correct answer for number 5 is false. Okay, we're done in the first activity. So, let's proceed to our lesson proper, so which is the cell cycle or the mitosis. The ability to reproduce in kind is a basic characteristic of all living organisms. So, in kind, uh, it means that the offspring of any organism are closely resembled their parent or parents. In sexual reproduction, it requires um, fertilization. So, it is the union of gametes from two individual organisms resulting in a fertilized egg or zygote. The countless cell divisions subsequently occur in a controlled manner to produce a complex multicellular organism. In other words, that the original single cell is the ancestor of every other cell in the body. Once an individual is fully grown, the cell reproduction is still necessarily to repair or regenerate tissues. So like for example, new blood and skin cells are constantly being produced. All multicellular organisms use cell division for growth and for the maintenance and repair of cells and tissues. So for single-celled organisms, 
they use cell division as their method of reproduction. So to have an idea, so this is the visual representation of the cell cycle. So it has two major parts, which is the interface and the cell division. So for the interface, so we had the first gap and the synthesis stage and the second gap. For the cell division, so we have the mitosis, we have the prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and the cytokinesis. So let us define first, so what is cell cycle? So, cell cycle is an orderly sequence of events that describes the stages of a cell's life from the division of a single parent cell to the production of two new daughter cells. So, later we will go in to discuss each stages for the interface and mitosis or for the cell division. In cell biology, mitosis is a part of cell cycle in which replicated chromosomes are separated into two new nuclei. So in the cell division, it gives rise to genetically identical cells in which the total number of chromosomes is maintained. So in mitosis, both the parent and the daughter nuclei are at the same ploidy level or deployed for most plants and animals. While for the meiosis, it employs many of the same mechanisms as mitosis. So, however, the starting nucleus is always diploid and the nuclei that result at the end of the meiotic cell division are haploid. For the nuclear division or the karyokinesis is usually followed by the cytoplasms into two or the cytokinesis. Has anyone ever told you that you were going through a phase? In cell biology, it is defined as the period within a cycle of change. The cell cycle has two major parts. So we have growth and preparation or the interface and cell division or the mitosis or meiosis. In cell division, in turn, is divided into two stages. So we have the cardiokinesis and the cytokinesis. Dito sa ating presentation, so pinapakita dito yung two parts na cell cycle, so which is the interface and the cell division. For the cell division naman, so nahati to sa dalawang stage which is the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis. Before we continue our main discussion, so let's have our second activity. So we're going to answer these three questions. So for question number one, which phase of cell cycle is the longest? For question number two, which is the shortest? Question number three, what do you think is happening to chromosomes when the cell is the end of G2 or the gap 2 or the second gap phase prior to mitosis? Okay, let's check your answer. For question number one, which phase of cell cycle is the longest? So the answer is interphase. For question number two, which is the shortest? The answer is anaphase. For question number three, what do you think is happening to the chromosomes when the cell is at the end of the second gap phase prior to mitosis? So the answer is, the cell's DNA material is replicates. We already mentioned that the cell cycle has two major parts, which is the interface and the cell division. So in our discussion, we will focusing on the mitosis that involves the cell division of body cells or the somatic cells. So during interphase, the cell grows and the DNA is replicated. During the mitotic phase, so the replicated DNA and cytoplasmic contents are distributed and the cell divides to produce two identical daughter cells. The question is, how does the cell prepare for mitosis while in interphase? So in interphase, it is the part of the cell cycle through which the cell undergoes normal growth processes while also preparing for cell division. So in order for a cell to move from interphase into mitotic phase, so many internal and external conditions must be met. 
the interphase is the longest part of the cell cycle. So, typically, about um, 90% of the total time of the cell cycle. So, dito sa ating presentation, meron tayong three stages of interface. So, we have the first gap. The second one is the synthesis stage. And also, we have the second gap. So, ang mga phases ng cell cycle ay nangyayari kasama ang tinatawag nating cell cycle control system o kilala din bilang cell cycle checkpoints. So, ano nga ba yung cell cycle checkpoints? So, it is a driven by a built-in clock that can be adjusted by external stimuli like sending chemical messages. Ano nga ba yung function ng cell cycle checkpoints? So, it is essential to ensure that the daughter cells produce, to be exact, duplicates of the parent cell. So, mistakes in the duplication or distribution of the chromosomes lead to mutations that may be passed on to every new cell produced from as, from as abnormal cell. The cell cycle control system has three main checkpoints. So, we have the first gap, the second gap, and the metaphase checkpoint. So, for the first gap checkpoint, it is the restriction point which ensures that the cell is large enough to divide and that enough nutrients are available to support the resulting daughter cells. So if the said requirements were met, the cell will receive a go-ahead signal from a protein called kinase, allowing the cell to enter the cell cycle. So if the cell doesn't receive a go-ahead signal, it will exit the cell cycle and switch to a non-dividing state called decrescent phase. So, ano nga ba yung nangyayari during the first gap? So, during first gap, the cell actively produces ATP or the adenosine triphosphate and the RNA or the ribonucleic acid and the protein. Also, during this stage, the cell increases in size. Ang next stage naman, ito ay tinatawag nating synthesis stage. So, during the S stage or the synthesis stage, the chromosomes, so specifically their DNA, it replicates. So, as DNA replication has ended, the cell enters another checkpoint called as the gap 2 or the second gap checkpoint. So, in this checkpoint, it ensures that the DNA replication in S space has been successfully completed. So if the said requirement was met, the cell will receive a go-ahead signal from kinase. So allowing the cell to enter the second gap. For the third stage of interface, so we have the second gap. So during the second gap, the cell organelles duplicates. Also, the chromosomes and coil to form the chromatin materials which will then turn into granules. So, meron tayong tinatawag na chromatin materials. So, ano ba yung chromatin materials na to? So, ito yung a thread-like form of chromosomes. Okay, we're done discussing the first part of the cell cycle which is the interface. So, review lang tayo ng kaunti. So, si interface meron tong tatlong stages which is the first gap the synthesis, and the second gap. So, I think malino na sa atin si interface. So, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa mitosis. The question is, what are the phases of mitosis? So, based dito sa ating uh, presentation, so we have the prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, so the first phase in the mitosis is prophase. So, ano ba yung mga ganap o nangyayari during prophase? As the cell exits the second gap, the cell will now proceed to mitosis. So, during prophase, the first part of mitosis, the chromatin materials start to condense, forming discrete chromosomes. Also, the nucleus and other organelles of the cell start to disintegrate. The centrioles will start to move toward the opposite pole of the cell, 
along with the radiation of mitotic spindle between them. Next one is prometaphase. So during prometaphase, a transition phase between prophase and metaphase, the chromatin materials have curled to form the chromosomes, the nucleus and other organelles are no longer visible, and the centrioles have reached the opposite poles of the cell, the spindle fibers converge and connect to the kinetic core of the chromosomes. So as the interconnection of spindle fibers to the chromosomes, specifically to their kinetic core, has ended, the cell enters the metaphase checkpoint. This checkpoint ensures that all the chromosomes are attached to the spindle fibers by their kinetic core. If the said requirements was met, the chromosomes will force to move toward the center of the cell. Okay, we're done with the prophase. So the next phase is the metaphase. So what happened during metaphase? So during metaphase, the cell's chromosomes align themselves in the middle of the cell through a type of cellular tug of war. So the chromosomes which have been replicated and remain joined at a central point called the centromere. So they are called as the sister chromatids. Okay, so after prophase, prometaphase, and metaphase, so we have the anaphase. So what happened during anaphase? So anaphase begins when the centromere of each chromosome come apart. So separating the sister chromatids. So the spindle fibers will then pull the chromatids toward the opposite poles of the cell. Along with that action is the formation of spindle fibers between the migrating chromatids which causes the cell to elongate. After anaphase, so we have the telophase. So what happened during telophase? So during telophase, it is a roughly the reverse of the prophase. The cell elongation that started in anaphase continues until a constriction is formed from the outer middle portion of the cell. So the chromosomes have reached the opposite poles of the cell. The spindle fibers start to disappear. The nuclei and cytoplasmic contents of the daughter cells start to reform. Also, the chromosomes will start to decondense. Last one, we have the cytokinesis. So what happened during cytokinesis? So during cytokinesis, in some references, it is referred as the late telophase. So during cytokinesis, the nuclei and cytoplasmic contents of the daughter cells are fully visible. The chromosomes are no longer visible. The constriction continues forming the climage furrow, which pinches the cell into two. And two new daughter cells are formed, each with the complete set of chromosomes as the parent cell. Okay, so we're done with the phases of mitosis. Let us recall the phases of mitosis. So first we have the prophase, the prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. For the last part of our discussion, let's try to answer this question. How can mutations lead to changes in the cell cycle? So the cell growth is carefully controlled in multicellular organisms. Cells in some parts of our body may rarely divide or actively divide. So during the healing process of wounds, cells divide actively. Toward the completion of healing, the cell division slows down, the growth is controlled, and everything returns to normal when the healing is done. So at times, errors happen along with cell growth. So these errors can be caused by toxic compounds, radiation, or viruses. Due to these errors, so the mitotic process can be disrupted, resulting to mutations. So the mutation or the mutations may cause a permanent error or change in the genetic material of a normal cell. 
So, what are the errors in mitosis or error in the cell division? So, we have two. We have the cancer and non-disjunction. For cancer, it happens during the interface. So, for the characteristic properties, the cell produces incorrect DNA copies. As a result, mutated cells are formed known as the cancer cells. Cancer cells do not respond normally to the cell cycle control system. So, they divide actively producing an abnormally growing mass of body cells called as the tumor. The next characteristic properties of the cancer is the benign tumor. It is a lump of cancer cells that remain at the original site. The third one is the malignant tumor. It is a lump of cancer cells that can spread into neighboring tissues and other parts of the body. So, displacing normal tissue and interrupting organ function as it goes. So, this spread of cancer cells via the circulatory system beyond the original site is called as the metastasis. The second error in cell division is the non-disjunction. So, it is the failure of one or more pairs of homologous chromosomes or the sister chromatids to separate normally during the nuclear division. So, it is usually resulting in, in an abnormal distribution of chromosomes in the daughter nuclei. The affected cell cycle in the non-disjunction is the anaphase. So, the characteristic properties, the chromosomes or the sister chromatids failed to separate that may two chromosomal mutation. Another characteristic is the mosaicism. So, it is the condition or it is a condition in which cells within the same person have different genetic makeup. In this condition can affect any type of cell including the blood cells, egg and sperm cells. So those are the some common errors in mitosis. So we have the cancer and the non-disjunction. So let's see how well you have enjoyed the amazing world of cell cycle and mitosis by answering the following questions. For question number one, chromosomes are duplicated during what stage of the cell cycle? For letter A, first gap phase, letter B, synthesis phase, letter C, prophase, letter D, prometaphase. The correct answer for question number 1 is letter B, S phase. Question number 2, which of the following events does not occur during some stages of interface? Letter A, DNA duplication. Letter B, organelle duplication. Letter C, increase in cell size. Letter D, separation of sister chromatids. The correct answer for question number 2 is letter D. Question number 3. In which cell structure do mitotic spindles arise from? Letter A, centromere. Letter B, centrosome. Letter C, kinetochore. Letter D, cleavage furrow. The correct answer for number 3 is letter B, centrosome. Question number 4, which stage of mitosis is characterized by the attachment of mitotic spindle fibers to kinetic cores? Letter A, prophase. Letter B, prometaphase. Letter C, metaphase. Letter D, anaphase. The correct answer for question number 4 is letter B, prometaphase. Question number 5, during which stage of mitosis do unpacking of chromosomes and the formation of new nuclear envelope happen? Letter A, prometaphase. Letter B, metaphase. Letter C, anaphase. 
letter D, telophase. The correct answer for question number 5 is letter D, telophase. Question number 6. Which stage of mitosis is characterized by the separation of sister chromatids? Letter A, prometaphase. Letter B, metaphase. Letter C, anaphase. Letter D, telophase. The correct answer for question number 6 is letter C, anaphase. For question number 7, what structure forms by the fusing of Golgi vesicles at the metaphase plate of dividing plant cells? Letter A, cell plate. Letter B, acting ring. Letter C, cleavage furrow. Letter D, mitotic spindle. The correct answer for question number 7 is letter A, cell plate. Question number 8, what is the mean prerequisite clearance at the second gap of checkpoint? Letter A, cell has reached a sufficient size. Letter B, an adequate stock pile of nucleotides. Letter C, accurate and complete DNA replication. Letter D, Proper attachment of mitotic spindle fibers to kinate cores. The correct answer for question number 8 is letter D. Question number 9. Which of the following phases of mitosis is essentially the opposite of prophase in terms of nuclear changes? Letter A, telophase. Letter B, metaphase. Letter C, interphase. And letter D, anaphase. The correct answer for question number 9 is letter A, telophase. And that ends our session for this lesson. So for the next video lesson, we will going to discuss the cell cycle of the meiosis. If you have questions or clarifications, you may type it in the comment section or message me in my Facebook account. Huwag din kalimutang mag-subscribe sa ating channel para updated tayo sa mga susunod na video lessons. Special thanks to Senior High School Module Development Team of the Schools Division Office of Bataan.